extraordinary guy. And you know, in this kind of field, this very complicated, not very um, queer world of service and volunteerism, Alan has in so many ways defined the model. And he did it when he helped co-found City Gear, which is, and became an inspiration of the model of AmeriCorps, which are some of the leading case studies and examples of how to make it work, how to make service work. And at the end of the day, we all know that's the only way we're going to accomplish our needs individually and collectively is through service. And Alan has done this legislatively, he's done it programmatically, he's done it passionately, he's been inspirational, he's inspired me, he's inspired so many thousands of people to do what they do. He's really an extraordinary guy. My only problem with the guy <laughs> is that he believes that what you stand for is more important than what you stand in. <laughs> Leah, thank you for your kind words, and thank you for your passion and your inspiration for young women. You, you're wise beyond your years, and I appreciate your sharing that thoughts, your thoughts with us. I also want to just acknowledge those big brutes in the back um, from the Boston Bruins. And, um, Woo! and these guys are just great guys, and they you know, they do what they do, but they also represent the community in ways and they get involved when they can. On behalf of the Bruins Foundation, they invest in their resources, their time, and, and also um, in various community initiatives to assist in helping enrich the lives of children throughout New England. And we're really proud to have them as our friends and, and be able to, to um, support them. They, this is an awful joke, but they believe, like we do, in the value of checking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible joke. <laughs> but I couldn't come up with a better one. Um, so, so but these guys are amazing. So then also, there's another guy here who's an extraordinary role model for me. I'm actually going to let him say something because he's so wonderfully articulate about this issue. And he has inspired me over the years by not just the role he's played in this world, but he says it, he does it, and, and you may have read one of his numerous books, um, but his name is Alan Dershowitz. And, and um, Alan is a legal scholar, distinguished Harvard law professor, well-known commentator and advocate on virtually every social issue, and he really goes his way, he's not influenced by what wisdom might and popular opinion might incline one to, to, to believe. And I've been so impressed with the positions he's taken on so many issues. Because I've had that same conviction, but I'm not sure I would have been able to stand up the way Alan has. And um, in fact, you just tell me just now, and Alan writes in the book, by the way, about the importance. And in each, there's 86 essays, and everybody writes about what inspired them, or they pick a specific issue that they feel is important, and then they tell us what they think we could do. And Alan talks about how why public, why professionals who have access to this monopoly of providing this professional service should all be required to serve. Not much different than what Alan was saying, that we all should be, that culturally should be inspired to want to do that. And Alan just tell me he just had a case reverse today, a 16-year-old young man who served five to six years in prison for wrongful imprisonment, and he did a pro bono. So he lives his message, and he does it every day, and it's a wonderful